glassware and syringes are sterilized by means of which of the following given options? The various options are autoclave, hot air oven, ethylene oxide and irradiation. Now let's see one by one. Option one says autoclave. So autoclave is nothing but a moist heat sterilization and it functions above 100 degrees Celsius and it is nothing but 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes at 15 LBS pressure. Next is hot air oven. So it brings about dry heat sterilization. It is sterilization brought about by employing dry heat and this at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius for 2 hours bring about adequate sterilization. Whereas option 3 is ethylene oxide. It is a gas but it is nothing but a volatile liquid having a very less boiling temperature boiling point of about 10.7 degrees Celsius. And this is a highly inflammable gas. That's a very important point we have to know regarding ethylene oxide. And fourth option says irradiation. Irradiation stands for the radiation. Two different types of radiations are used. They are ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. And next, we should know the various indications for each and every option. In case of autoclave, so the main indication, so autoclave is mainly used to bring about sterilization of culture media. It is a very, very important point. So autoclave brings about sterilization of culture media, gloves, etc. And apart from that, the rubber materials can also be autoclaved. And apart from that, all those materials that cannot withstand the dry heat, that cannot be sterilized by means of dry heat because dry heat employs about 160 degrees Celsius in that too for 2 hours. Therefore, certain materials cannot withstand such a high temperature. So, in such case, autoclave would be the next preferable way of sterilization. And next getting on with hot air oven. Hot air oven. The most important indication is all the glasswares such as the syringes, flask, pipettes, test tubes, etc. And apart from that, all kinds of surgical instrument, especially the sharps like scissors, scalpels, etc. And all the surgical instruments other than sharps can be sterilized by autoclave that is also an important point other than sharps autoclave and most of the sharp surgical instruments are scissors and scalpels and apart from that chemicals like dusting powder or liquid paraffin etc these are the some of the indications for hot air oven and third option says ethylene oxide and i have mentioned that it is a gas but this ethylene oxide, they cannot be used for fumigating, that is to disinfect the rooms, laboratories, operation theatres because it is highly inflammable and tendency to explode. And this ethylene oxide, they are indicated for all materials that are thermosensitive or we can tell like heat sensitive or thermolabile materials. Because those that cannot withstand heat, especially the sutures and Certain uh, heart lung machines, respirators and most of the dental equipments and all the plastic materials can be sterilized by means of ethylene oxide. Fourth option says irradiation and I have mentioned they are of two types ionizing and non-ionizing and the most commonly used ionizing radiation is gamma rays and this gamma rays the most important point you should remember regarding the indications are the disposable items such as the disposable syringes and apart from that the bone grafts, skin grafts, the various tissue grafts are sterilized by means of gamma radiation and apart from that surgical cat cut. These are some of the indications for radiation by the means of gamma radiation. And even non-ionizing radiation, if you consider infrared, they can be used for certain catheters, syringes, etc. And UV radiation is mainly to disinfect the 
closed areas, enclosed areas like laboratories, operation theatres, etc. And therefore, our question is about sterilization of glassware and syringes. And I have told for glassware, the best method of sterilization is by dry heat, that is, hot air oven is the best method to sterilize all types of glassware like pipettes, test tubes, flasks, syringes, etc. And therefore, the right answer here is option 2 hot air oven. 